What's going on everybody? This is Cody, the Home Theater Hobbies, and today I have my full review of the Wharfdale Diamond 12s, the latest in the Diamond series from Wharfdale. This series has been going on since like 1981, so 40 years, so that's definitely cool. And I want to give a shout out to MoFi Distribution because they sent me these speakers for review, so thank you MoFi. Now, I've been I'm excited to talk to you guys about these speakers because you've been asking me for like two years or maybe even longer, what do I think of Wharfdale? How do they compare to other speakers that I've heard? And so finally, I have an opinion. Um, what I have here are the 12.4 floor standing speakers right over there, that nice guy right there. That is the 12.0 bookshelf speaker and I have the 12C center channel. So I've got a nice 5.0 set and I'm going to talk to you about design features and sound quality. So let's get to it. Okay, first things first, I did not do an unboxing video with these speakers. They were with someone else before I received them, and I can't always assume that everything's gonna be packed perfectly like the manufacturer would do it, so I did not do an unboxing. But let me give you a couple of quick thoughts on the shipping and also unboxing of these speakers. First things first, these came via fax or UPS. They did not ship freight with a pallet. Um, the 12.0s are you know, two speakers in a box. I think it weighed like 25 pounds. I was able to bring them in, no issues. Uh, the 12C, 20 pounds, came in its own box, just fine. The 12.4s, each one comes in its own box. So you're gonna get two boxes with the 12.4s so you get two speakers, right? They were 61 pounds each. I didn't have any issues bringing them up the stairs myself, but if you have issues carrying that weight, you definitely wanna make sure that you have someone to help you bring them in your house and help you set them up because these are quite dense and that's a good thing. Um, as far as packaging is concerned, they were very well packaged. I didn't have any issues. Uh, so that's just, I just wanna get that out of the way. Uh, the next thing I wanna talk about is nomenclature because I like the way they have named these speakers. It goes from 12.0, which I have here, to 12.4. There are three bookshelf speakers, the 12.0, 12.1, and 12.2, and basically they get bigger as you go up. Four inch driver, five inch driver, six and a half inch driver. They, next you have the 12.3, which is the smaller floor standing speaker. It has dual five inch drivers. Then you get this big bad boy, the 12.4, it has dual six and a half inch drivers. And by the way, these are two and a half way speakers, which means one of those drivers does a bit of the mid range as well. Um, Next, you move on to the 12C, that's the center channel, dual five inch drivers. So I like it because the nomenclature is nice and simple. 12.0 to 12.4 and 12C. Now I want to talk about design because there is a lot that I like about the design of these speakers. Uh, the first thing I like is they come in several different colors. And if you have been following this channel for any length of time, you know that I like speakers that come in several different colors because we all have several different personalities and color just can speak to you in a way. And actually, if you aren't following this channel, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be alerted anytime we upload new content and also hit that like as well. But I digress. Uh, it comes in four different colors. It comes in black, white, walnut, and light oak. And I have the light oak here. And honestly, to me, this is a three-tone speaker. The first thing that you see here is you can see that they all come with this light oak wood finish on the side of the speaker. I think it looks really nice. It's on the side, the top, the bottom, it's all the way around. But up front, you have a nice black grill. On the bookshelf speakers and the center channel, that grill covers the entire front face with a Wharfdale logo down there at the bottom. With the floor standing speaker, the grill only covers about half of the face with the other portion of the face just being the white face and the Wharfdale logo is down on the bottom of the speaker. But to take the grill off, just give it a simple tug and it comes off. It is magnetically attached and there are no holes on the front face. The grill itself is acoustically transparent and they have a nice little bit of rubber back here to kind of help them stick to the front face. Now the front face, one thing I like about the front face is that they've polished it in such a way that it actually looks like a ceramic and I like it, I like it a lot. The other thing that I noticed about this is right here, or there's this little ring, it's again plastic, but it is polished and shined, so it kind of looks like a rubbed bronze look, and again, it looks like metal, and it just adds to the class of the speaker. And actually, while I'm here, I should probably take the grill off of the center channel so you can see that as well. Uh, with the bookshelf and floor standards, you have the uh, 
tweeter driver setup and with the center channel you have the driver tweeter driver setup so that's just kind of something that i noticed but overall these look really nice and really high quality i like it um also now that i have these off you can also see why i think they, they kind of they remind me of a three-tone speaker because you've got a white face black drivers and also this light oak finish now I want to show off the back of the speaker because it's got a nice white face back here. And again, it's just a nice design. Uh, you got a port up top here on the bookshelf and the floor standing speaker. The uh, center channel is not ported and you have dual binding post down there so you can buy amp or buy wire. So again, it just looks really nice. So in the design category, I have to give these an eight and a half out of 10. I love the fact that they come in so many different colors. I mean, honestly, they came in even more colors. I think that'd be even better. Um, in my opinion, the Walnut's probably the best just looking at the pictures I've seen online, but these Light Oaks also look good. This is probably be the second color that I would choose. Um, but I like the fact that again, they look so high quality. This looks like a ceramic. This ring here, it looks like a metal. Again, it's not that because they have to keep the cost down, but it looks really, really good. So eight and a half out of 10 for design. Now let's talk features. And the main feature I want to mention are the dual binding posts. They allow you to buy amp and buy wire these speakers. And the really cool thing is it's on all the speakers in the line, the smallest bookshelf speaker to the floor standing speakers. Even the center channel has dual binding posts. And that's not something that you find in this price class. The binding posts themselves are also reasonably high quality. So from a feature standpoint, I give this a six and a half out of 10. I'm going to play a quick audio sample so that you can hear that these do make sound. Now let's talk sound quality. After I unboxed these speakers, I broke them in for about 50 hours or so. Then I began listening to music and watching movies. And the first thing I noticed when I was listening to music was just how laid back the overall presentation was. And honestly, I kind of liked it. I was, I had the 12 fours running and I also had my clips RP260Fs sitting next to them and I decided to switch between the two. Now my RP260Fs are a bit forward and I knew that going in, but honestly, when I compared them to the 12 fours to the 260Fs, I kind of felt like I was being attacked a little bit by the 260Fs and that was a bit surprising. But overall, I found the presentation to be laid back with both the 12 fours and the 12 zeros. I also found that the mid range is quite prominent. It's nice and natural and it's got a nice full sound to it, but it's a bit more prominent than both the treble at the high end and the bass at the low end. And listening to music, I kind of found that I didn't hear as much detail in the treble as I was accustomed to hearing because the mid range was there. Again, a good mid range, but strong and prominent. Now, as for bass, I found that the 12 zeros will play down to about 50 Hertz, but nothing much below that. Whereas the 12 fours will play down to about 25 Hertz, but really kind of come into their own at 40 Hertz. The 12C is listed at, I think like 90 Hertz as the bottom. And I got it to play a 63 Hertz tone, but really this is not made for bass. When I was watching movies, I did find that the bass was adequate, but if I wanted to feel the bass on the floor or in the room, I definitely added a subwoofer. And I would say, you know, something in the 10 or 12 inch range that'll play down to 20 Hertz should get you that nice bass feel if you're looking for. But if you're not really looking for that, these do a decent job at bass. But again, it's not quite as detailed as some other speakers that I've listened to. Now, I did take an opportunity to buy up these speakers and I did notice a difference. It was, I don't know, 5% difference in clarity in detail. The mid range was still prominent, but again, you did get a little bit more detail, a little bit more clarity. Now, is that enough to say, go out and buy an extra amp to buy up these speakers? Maybe not. But if you want to get the most out of the 12s, buy amping, I think is the way to go. So I give the diamonds a seven out of 10 for sound quality. I like the laid back presentation. I also like the fact that the vocals are nice and natural and I prefer these with movies versus music, mainly because I wish there was just a bit more high and a bit more treble for music. So you get a little bit more detail, but I think they've done a good job. I just wish it had just a little bit more detail in the treble. So seven out of 10. The final topic I wanna to talk about is value. And I give these a seven out of 10. The 12 fours can be had for about a thousand dollars for the pair. The 12 zeros are about $300 a pair and the 12 C's again, $300 a pair. So for $1,600, you can get an entire 5.0 system and that's a pretty good deal. 
So let's wrap this up. I do recommend the Diamond 12s if you're looking for a speaker that has a laid back presentation and nice natural vocals. They've got great fit and finish with dual binding posts and several different color options. So if you want to purchase the Diamond 12s or anything else, use those links in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe and comment. We'll talk to you next time.